Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a new event that is the summer event in FGO. Um, yeah, the summer events has begun and uh, you probably see that I haven't made any summoning video. The reason behind that is because I am waiting for Ibuki and Skadi's banner to come out. After they come out, I'm going to pull for those two first. And then I'm going to go to the Lady Avalon's banner just for the four star. You know, there's no particular, I, I don't really particularly want Lady Avalon. You know, if I get her, I get her. It'll be like that. But I definitely want the four star character. I think Gareth is there, isn't, isn't she? I think she's in that banner. Um, so yeah, just for that. But I'm just waiting for Ibuki and Skadi's band to come out, and, and then I'm going to do, you know, accordingly. First Ibuki, then Skadi, then I'm going to go to Lady Avalon. So yeah, that is why for now there'll be no summoning video. After Ibuki's banner come out, you, you'll get to see a summoning video. Okay, so let us get started then. I'm really excited for this um, year's summer event. We have a welfare servant as well. We can choose one of those these Valkyries. And uh, yeah, let us begin. So it's a 20 day event. So I'm assuming it's a big one. So let's begin. All right, here we go. Opening Arctic Servants. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay. The bleaching of the Earth's surface. The erasure of humanity. They say the whole of Earth's surface has been wiped clean. Oh, it seems the bleaching has reached even here. The bleached Earth phenomenon has left the world devoid of both color and light. In all directions, as far as the eye can see, there is only pure white. That same blanket of unchanging white covers the whole of the world. I thought the North Pole might have been an exception. Hmm. No, I see it. Quite as featureless as the rest of the world. The Arctic Circle, the Arctic Ocean. There, her glare finally settles upon a body of water that should have been covered with thick per perennial lights. But even that has been bleached away. Now it is no more than another part of the endless, indistinguishable landmass. Now I see. So this bleaching of humanity is no mere simple transformation of land. Then, is some manner of mystic responsible? Truly, nothing but white as far as the eye can see. Very well. I can work with this. Yes, I think this place will do nicely. What, for this year's summer event? <laughs> she smiles at the vast white expanse. A most inhuman smile indeed. Okay. Oh, Skadi is here. The time has come. In my hand, a holy grail. Before me, a land of endless white nothingness. <laughs> Any who think they can stop me are most welcome to try. Lady Skadi, please, don't do this. <laughs> Is it really worth getting this, going this far away from Kaldia? Yeah, this isn't like you, Lady Skadi. Come on, let's just go home and have ice cream. Yeah? And don't forget about Master. How do you think he's going to feel about this? Even with primordial runes, you can only use your independent action for so long. Now come on, let's go home. Hmm. Master. Dad got her. Yeah, yeah, Master, he's gonna be so sad when he finds out you took a Holy Grail. Actually, where did you even get that Holy Grail? The ones in the underground storage unit are kept under tight lock and key, so then... Is that a new Holy Grail, Lady Skadi? <laughs> that is it. That it is. I obtained a Holy Grail for myself. And I will not allow anyone to stand in my way. Not even master. Now behold. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> yep, this is a summer... Summer costume, yep.
Right. So just she just wanted a summer costume. That's why she took the grail. I feel like Ereshke girl should do this. You know. Because we don't have Ereshke girl summer version. I feel like just like how Skadi did this, Ereshke girl could, should do this in one of the summer events. Then maybe finally we'll get her <laughs> summer version Ereshke girl. <laughs> what do you think? A, a swimsuit spirit origin? No, no, wait. If she only wished to change her spirit origin, she could have used runes. So the fact that she used the Holy Grail instead must mean. No way. Yes, way, Ortolinde. You took your time with that realization. As an expression of my love, I have decided to decorate the Arctic Circle with a brand new singularity. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, this is um yeah, the the spirit origin uh, origin has also changed. I found a fast candidate. Excuse me, could I have a word with you? Oh, Eris. Oh, there. <laughs> you know, because Eris has a, a like a swimsuit version as well. So they're taking candidates to change their spirit origins. Huh? Pardon me, you too. Can I have a moment of your time? Huh? What's a Valkyrie want? Wait. You look different somehow. Oh my, is that a new swimsuit spirit origin? Swimsuit spirit origin? Yeah, that doesn't look like a swimsuit. But I, I you know what, whatever. Is that a swimsuit? Oh, it is. She's just wearing a jacket on top of it. <laughs> right. Mm, I love it. This new Valkyrie swimsuit spirit origin of yours is too cute for words. I know what you mean. It's quite charming. Um, hang on. Don't tell me. Is it? It is some sort of swim summer swimsuit theme to military dress. Yes, I think it is. In some ways, it reminds me of Lady Osaka Bahime's spirit or summer spirit origin. Yeah, I guess. What a lovely outfit. It suits you very well. Um, huh? She's not. Uh, Turin, Trude, or. Hildrin, Hildr, or Urin, Portlinde. Oh my god, her nicknames. So who is she? Huh? It is true, she's not any of them. Only her scent matches the others. Tell me, what's your name? I should have known you three would figure it out. The Valkyrie spirit origins are all supposed to be identical, but you still saw the right through me. It's a pleasure to meet you, Heroic Spirits of Kaldia. My name is... Gersko, but please call me Is. Okay. I think I mispronounced it, but you know. This unit's name is Render. Nice to meet you. I'm Rund. Please, so pleased to meet you. Make your acquaintance. We are the three new Valkyrie sisters. That is, we're three Valkyries who have recently been summoned. Separately from Trit, Hilder, and Ortlund. Now I see, you look like you are quite the sharpshooter. So, are you an archer? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe an assassin, judging from how you conceal your presence. <laughs> New servants, huh? So, how come Master didn't tell us about you? Excellent question. You see, we are not Kaldian servants. We are the new Valkyrie sisters summoned by Lady Skahaskadi, Queen of the Arctic. <laughs> Skadi? Seriously? Oh, but please don't misunderstand. We're still definitely proper human history servants, okay? Tell us then. What are servants and affirmed with Kaldia doing here? Last I heard Lady Skaskadi was still one of us. Are you telling me she's turned traitor? I'm warning you now. If you mean Kaldia or our master any harm, I'll slice the spirit origin in two here and... Whoa, 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 slow down, Rikopin. <laughs> Okay, I her naming is just 
The new gal here is packing a real wallop, but she hasn't aimed it our way yet. If it was a fight she was after, she wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? <laughs> you make a good point. I'm afraid I was a little hasty there. It's summer, there's no telling where we might to see someone cavorting about in an indecent spirit origin. Oh lord. So as a mother, or uh, the perfect, the shadow prefect, I'm rather on the edge right now. Oh hey, it's this summer, isn't it? We'll all have to break out the swimsuits soon. Uh, I'm not sure swimsuits are really the matter at hand. Actually, they are. I... Pardon? I am here to discuss swimsuits. You see, we three sisters are... We are the swimsuit spirit origin Valkyrie sisters. Swimsuit spirit origin Valkyrie sisters. Yep, get it now? Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> um, wh what? No, no, sorry, I didn't get it at all. What, what even is a swimsuit spirit origin? <laughs> well, I've seen some servants changing their spirit origins when summer rolls around. Yeah, that's basically it. But I don't really know the details and I haven't been able to ask Master about it either, so... I'm kind of in the dark. Yeah? That's perfect! Come, you're, you're our next candidate. Let's go! <laughs> I don't just need servants who already have swimsuit spirit origins. I also need to gather up servants. We're new to the swimsuit things. And I've picked you. Let's go. Um, I'm sorry. Wh where are we go? Primordial runes bestow upon us a summary outfit. Oh no. <laughs> oh, she's transforming. There you go. Well, they already have swimsuits. So, you know. I'm, I guess they're just going to turn into that. There you go. Yes, these are the swimsuit spirit origins, all right. Hey, why did you grab me like that? Would have been would have been really easy to dodge that if you hadn't grabbed me. <laughs> Such a grab! <laughs> now, now, she said summary outfit, so I was sure it wouldn't be dangerous. Besides, just look at us. Don't you think two sisters changing into swimsuits at the same time is just wonderful? No, hell no! And you'd better not be doing that creepy pretending to be our bigger sister thing again this year. <laughs> oh lord. I'm not pretending to be anything. You and John Alter Lily are my sisters. And Fujimaru is my younger brother. Ugh, what is this about wearing a swimsuit that just makes you into one of those crazy... <laughs> oh my god, of a saint. Oh boy. I knew it, you all look great. Your experience with swimsuit spirit origins is paying off. I also like to thank you, if I may, for letting me use this rune and not even trying to stop me. I'm pretty sure you could have just destroyed me and my rune all by yourself if you wanted to, right? Hmm, how should I put it? I suppose I for forbore because I didn't sense any malice from you and because Lady Nagiko had a very firm hold on my sleeve. <laughs> well, that's why. Besides, if there is a new summer singularity out there, she must go there. Then it is my duty to observe it closely from within. For decency's sake, of course. That's right. I will not anything risque, indecent, immoral, or unacceptable happen on my watch. <sighs> Whenever she says things like that, I can't help but wonder if Lady Ripe has ever looked in a mirror to see the same shirt she is wearing. <laughs> oh god. Uh, hmm. Well, as far as I'm concerned, all skewed that's unskewed, yeah? But check it out, even the famed leader of the Genji here is downright beautiful in this one. What? Hmm. <laughs> okay, once again I have a message for those of you with swimsuit spirit origins. These words come straight from our Arctic Queen. Right. Swimsuit spirit origin servants of Kaldia. Come to the Arctic Circle. And enjoy all summer has to offer. Okay, let's go. I'll tell you the rest after we get there. So here's the thing, you know, obviously in the end we'll have a we'll have to make a choice. Who are we going to get? I'm kind of uh, leaning towards the, the the not this girl, the other one, the the one, the, the yellow hair, completely. Her hairstyle, I don't know. I, I really like her hairstyle, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, if I change my mind, let's see what all of them, you know. 
what type of characters they are and all that. I guess in the end, then I'll make a decision. For now, I'm leaning towards her. That, that, that other girl, I, I, I forgot her name. You know, she has like a little uh, braided, you know, that, 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 whole, that whole hairstyle. I really like that. Okay, next. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, guys. Nope, not a damn thing here. No, oh, Guinness is here as well. Sure ain't. No TV, radio, no vehicles either. Except my chariot, obviously. The only thing this place has to has an abundance of is of cold weather. Yeah, if we're servants, we're already being frozen to death. And singularities aside, the whole damn planet looks like this now, even if it's not all this cold. Although, this is the North Pole, right? So where's the singularity? I figured since these Valkyrie chicks invited us, uh, there'd be, you know, something here. Right, why go through the trouble of dragging us out to the middle of nowhere? Who is that? Exactly, what could th they possibly wish me to do in these endless white plains? Oh my god, that's Lady Avalon. I know, right? That is not what I had in mind when I came all this way. I won't say it should be all sunshine and flowers, but it is summer and we're all in our swimsuits, right? So there should be at least something here to give us a chance to live in style. Who are they? Wait, are these the su summer characters? Is that Ibuki? I know what you mean. Even a little bit of booze would go a long way here. Okay, that's Ibuki. You servants are nothing if not demanding. But, <laughs> I just love that spirit. Hmm. Skadi, is that you? Yes, I am. Skahasaha Skadi, Queen of the Arctic. I am speaking to you from a great distance using replica of Kalia's communication system. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for accepting my invitation. I brought you all here for a very simple purpose. You are going to transform the North Pole into a summer paradise. Right. Paradise? Indeed. I want you all to create the paradise of your dreams. I can do little on my own, but with all of you here to help. I declare here and now, I shall create the ultimate paradise in the North Pole. It shall be called... What? Skadi Land or something like that? Arctic Summer World. Okay. <laughs> Arctic Summer World. Hmm, so that's your plan. Who is that? Oh, is that who's that here? It might be. I think so, I don't know. Do not hold back. Go, enjoy your summer. For it is here to stay all for all eternities. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Right, uh, yes, I see. So essentially, it's business as usual. Pretty much. I knew it. Good thing I've gotten used to these situations. Since. Since. Oh, hell no. I'm not used to this at all. And frankly, no one should be used to this weirdness. <laughs> what in the world are we even going doing here? How could we let yet another Kaldir servant create a singularity? Do we have any security whatsoever for our stock of holy grails? Let me remind you, a minor singularity is still very much a singularity. We're supposed to be saving humanity from singularities, not creating more. <laughs> wow, Godoth is actually speaking facts here. <laughs> Easy there, Gordy. Deep breaths. I think we're just dealing with a little misunderstanding, that is. Yeah, misunderstanding? <laughs> wow, right. Oh? Let's start at the beginning. Would you do the honors, Mush? Of course, according to our records, this began when Skasa Skadi suddenly left Kaldia base. Essentially, she independently performed a pseudo zero sail to travel to the Arctic Circle via void space. She zero sailed without so much as a protective suit? Is she mad? 
I don't even want to think about what could have happened if she failed. Oh, fuck, folk. Not to mention it wouldn't even be possible for an ordinary human to zero say it on their own. I swear these divine spirits can get away with whatever the hell they want. So, what about holy grail she used to make this singularity? I assume it's one of ours? No, it actually seems she acquired it in the arctic circle, so... Oh, okay, well... Right. Oh, so it isn't one of Skaldir's holy grails after all. That's right, anyway, the three Valkyries, Trud, Hildur and Ortlinde, all left Kaldi and arrived at the Arctic Circle almost simultaneously as Kaldi. Hmm, I don't see any way the Valkyries could have zero sailed on their own. So they must have hitched a hide, uh, ride with Kaldi. Hitched a ride. You make it sound like they just grabbed a cab. Of course, it could have been as simple as that, so I can only imagine. It couldn't have been as simple as that, so I can only imagine they must have been willing to risk their lives to follow her. Yep, sounds like the Valkyries. Yes, it does. So, the obvious conclusion is that they were trying to stop her. Right, though unfortunately, it seems they didn't succeed. Afterwards, Skadi's magical energy signal moved away from the Valkyries, who appeared to currently be holding position where they arrived in the Arctic Circle. Maybe after the negotiations failed, they decided to stay put and wait for Fujimaru to get there instead of going after Skadi. An excellent rational decision. Alright then, what are we to make of these new Valkyries? New Valkyries? You're right, according to our records, three new Valkyrie sisters appeared inside the base not long after Skadi left. All we know for certain right now is that they possess different spirit origins from Thrut, Hildur, and Ortlin there. These new Valkyries made contact with a number of servants, all of whom changed into Swinsu spirit origins and then traveled to the Arctic Circle themselves. And that's not all. At about the same time, a number of servants who didn't change into Swinsu spirit origins used external magic energy to materialize from their spirit forms then made their way to the Arctic Circle. Oh my god. Damn it, every time. Every single time, I swear, what is it with this summer that makes the servants just flock to singularities like they're a hot new dance club <laughs> or something? Oh no. This is nothing compared to Servant Fest. Servant Fest? I don't remember much about that from the records, but wasn't it established that the record keeper in charge simply hallucinated that one? They didn't, so Southern Fest actually exists? <laughs> I mean, I've taken a vacation or two to Hawaii myself, and I do recall seeing some kind of convention, but... It definitely exists. <laughs> well, hey, either way, it's not like this is our first rodeo. This base, or rather the Wandering Sea, is part of a highly unusual environment. In general, it's impossible for external factors to intervene here, and vice versa. So I suspect these servants follow Skadi Zero's Skadi Zero Sail trail to reach the Arctic Circle. Hmm. Uh, technical advisor, is there anything? And is there such a thing as Zero Sail trails? Oh yeah, that's true. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> Didn't think so. <clears throat> so we can probably assume this is some kind of primordial rune reality bending at work. Man, those Age of God mistings are something else. It's like there's literally nothing Divine Spirits can do with them. Especially if they have a Holy Grail at their disposal. Which side, which she does, will call it a Holy Grail signal in Arctic right, Circle right after this happened. And as I said earlier, this Holy Grail isn't one we've been keeping here at Kaldia. So she found it in the Arctic Circle, huh? Are we really okay letting Divine Spirits do whatever the hell they want? Well, they are literary gods, so of course we're going to be... A bit, it is going to be a bit much for humans to handle. We still need their help if we're going to save all of humanity though. Well, yes, that's true, but still. Oh well, I suppose there's nothing to be gained without working myself into a tizzy. The fact is, Skadi used the Holy Grail to create a singularity at the North Pole. And Divine Spirit or not, it's still only a minute singularity. No? So, then won't it close on its own soon enough? I don't think so. I think, as she said, she said, like, I want you guys to work and, you know, towards the fact that I, nah, she said something like, 
like keeping this singularity you know, keeping this like alive for eternity or something like that she said granted we still need to collect the new holy grail and it would certainly make us feel better if we seal this minor singularity while we did so but then again this is kasa haskadi we are up against Though I must say, she doesn't strike me as the kind of divine spirit to try anything truly danger. Oh? Yeah, you scared me for a while. Yeah, don't say that. You'll jinx it. <laughs> Yo, there you go. Huh? S Senpai, it's an emergency. I apologize for not being present in person. I have a report regarding this singularity straight from the computer room. Here's a rough overview of the strange predictions Trismegistus 2 just spat out. Oh lord. This singularity will never disappear on its own. <laughs> this abnormal situation in the North Pole will continue forever unless Kaldia stops it. This park will never close. Huh? Huh. There you have it. It would seem your summer plans have been made. D damn it all. What happened to you, Skasaskadi? Have you lost your mind? Farofu. If the singularity won't come, that doesn't sound like her. Yeah. No, it doesn't. But either way, we still have to shut down the singularity. We can't ignore Trisma Augustus 2's calculation. Prepare to deploy for field operations immediately. Your mission will be to resolve the singularity and to find out why Skadi made it in the first place. Okay, Fujimaru, go get ready. We'll ray shift into you into the North Pole in 10 minutes. Got it. Hmm. Okay, all set to leave. This is singular. This singularity is located in the North Pole in the present day. I wish Holmes and I could go with you, but I'm afraid we all got our whole hands full installing the Sacred Sword armament on the border. Okay, so this is happening before Tron. I'm guessing. Right. Man, this sucks. I wanted to visit visit the North Pole too. I'll at least bring my black a lot of stories to tell. So, for the time being, I'll have Marsh handle support for me. Sorry about this, Marsh. I'm sure you would have liked to enjoy your summer too, but... It, it's no problem. Providing support for the brace is important too. And this summer, I'm not going to take my eyes off of Senpai for a second. Wow, you're really fired up about this, aren't you? Okay, great. You know, because usually half of the time, <laughs> the communications go wrong. And Kalia cannot be contacted for like, I don't know, 90% of the event. So, as far as you can tell, the singularity is in the Arctic Circle, it's keeping a number of servants held inside of it. This may be pretty standard for summer singularities, but it's still a problem we need to resolve. The upside here is that there will be no shortage of servants to accompany you on the mission. True. So, if nothing else, you should at least be good as far as manpower goes. Right? Oh. Yeah, right, every one of these servants is very skilled on the battlefield. Glance. Hmm. Oh, is he... <laughs> that is Asha the one, isn't it? I think so. Anyone who makes that noise is him. <laughs> there he is. You know what? This is actually a very good costume. Even though I don't have Doman myself, this is a, this is a solid costume. Hmm. Rest assured, you will be in good hands with me. I guarantee it. Asha the one. <laughs> Double take. Pleasant smile. <laughs> Bro. And of course, I won't be the only one. Isn't that right? Oh, who's this? Oh, a slippers. <laughs> Good grief. I guess the winter incident wasn't enough. How strange for Skadi to be involved in something like this twice in the span of a year. <clears throat> she may be suffering from a condition that causes erratic behavior. The sooner I can examine her, the better. Well, she's a goddess, so... And on top of that, <laughs> you said we are going to the North Pole, yes? Such a remote location is bound to be home to a rare, unusual diseases. As the member, as I am a member of the medical team, it makes perfect sense for me to come along. Acelipus. However, I'm not thrilled about going with an alter ego, who seems to be a little more than a walking pathogen. With your permission, Master, I'd be happy to dispose of him. Or perhaps I didn't even ask permission. Well, he hasn't done anything yet, just so. Naturally, and I have no intentions of changing that. 
I promise. It absolutely does not buy any of it. Keeping a straight face. <laughs> so, uh, guys, you guys don't mind if I go now, right? No, not at all. Please go ahead. Oh, uh, I always forget his name. What's his name? Yang King. Okay. Okay, so my turn. They said this one's up the North Pole Master. Great, that sounds nice and cool. Yang King. Yeah, that's me. Huh. You're saying my normal getup looks more fitting for hot weather? That may be true, but don't worry about it. Anyway, both Gareth and I are excited to walk with you on uh, all. Oh, Gareth is here as well. Yep, there she is. Isn't that like a lifeguard, like, you know, like costume? Thank you, Yang King. That's right, Master. I'll be coming along too. So we are going to the North Pole. When Then we might see polar bears. I heard they're really strong. <laughs> Which is why I thought a mystic sword would come in handy. Gareth! <laughs> yes, it's me. Uh, thanks for my, to my new spirit origin, I'm now a mystic sword wielder. A saver. <laughs> so you don't have anything to worry about. I can handle things if we get into a rough spot. Oh, okay. Annette. Oh, and Annette's here coming too, of course. Annette? You'll also be accompanied by three more servants, the Valkyries, Thurt, Hildur and Ortlinde. As I mentioned earlier, they should already be waiting for you in the Arctic Circle, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love summer, it's the only time you get these giant lineups. <laughs> yep, it's like I told you, there's a lot of eligible servants this time. So did those three new Valkyries give all of you your new sense of spirit origins too? They did for me, yeah. Me too. Not me, the Lancer's Kassah just decided to mess with my spirit origin the other day. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, so they gave them the spirit origins but they didn't go with them. Okay. Damn, seriously? Seriously. Yes, that's what you get with a crazy self. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It turned out an outfit that's much easier to move, fitting for a summer medic. Also, strictly speaking, this is a spirit address, not a swimsuit spirit origin. Oh yeah, that's true, I guess. Alright, guess mine's true. Oh ho, I see, I see. For my part, I tweaked my own spirit origin and came up with the spirit on dress myself. <laughs> His dress is very interesting. She's like wearing like a... Oh, what's it called? Like a hakama, I think. Is that what it's called? With leaves on top of it? And flowers with eyes? Okay. What do you think? Does it suit me? You all look great. Right. <laughs> Watch that face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <coughs> oh no. You, you okay there, Doha? Your face is looking kind of freaky. Uh, why? This is merely a smile. Do you take issue with smiling as a matter of principle? This is how you smile? By making a weird... Okay. It's like, it's like he's trying to wink, but he's failing at it. It looks like that. You know, some people like, you know, like cannot really wink properly. It seems like one of those. That's a smile? Personally, um, I find those wriggling morning glories to be scared. I, I mean, I'm not scared or anything. They're just really creepy. Wow, Gareth, that's really blunt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame Lady Gareth for being wary. These vampiric shikigami have been known to feast even on blood of heroic bears, you know. Oh my god. Very well then, I should put them away for the time being. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, now that's much snazzier outfit. Yep. I come to think of it. How come you two didn't get the, to the Arctic Circle after a spirit origins were transferred? Yang Qing and Gareth? Yeah. I probably would have if it wasn't for Yang Qing. Thanks to you again. Thank you for helping out me out. No problem. Really? Well, the rules didn't seem to work too well on me and I and the new Valkyrie didn't know what to do about it. <laughs> That's a shame. Maybe it's because of the phantom spirit I've got mixed in with my spirit origin. Anyway, that bit of luck gave me a chance to leave. When I did, I took Gareth here with me since she was there too. Good call, Yang Qing. You think? 
Definitely, if you hadn't done that, I wouldn't be able to company master on the mission. Thank you again. No worries. A sound decision, medically speaking. Hey, thanks. Hmm, a most wise judgment indeed. Uh, r right, thanks. It's alright, no need to be shy. Damn, you really mean that, don't you? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, enough staring contests. Now then, is everyone ready to go? Ready? Ready when you are. All good. No problems here. Leave it to me. Uh, Ashadaman smile is more than slightly worrying, but he hasn't been he has been behaving himself this year. So okay. Uh, good luck in the Arctic Circle, Fujimaru. March, start the countdown, please. Understood. Initiating countdown. Ten minus T minus ten seconds to ratio. Caldia's Magical Summer Theme Park Opening Arctic Servants <laughs> Right Yep, oh, this is the map Oh, this is a nice map It's a big one Oh boy, this is going to be a big event. Arctic Summer World Outskirts. <coughs> oh wow. We're here, the Arctic Circle. Ooh, so this is the Arctic Circle. Look at this place, nothing but white open space everywhere you look. It does kind of look how I imagined the North Pole would. Then again, it feels like there's something pretty off about it. Well, yeah, because there's like a whole ass theme park here. <laughs> oh, it's warm, huh? It's warm. Hey, yeah, now that you mention it, the temperature is tuned to perfection. I, I'm guessing that's the Holy Grail at work. Okay, I get it. They knew they had to make this a real summer singularity if they were gonna gather some swimsuit service. Yeah, I couldn't imagine characters in swimsuit when it's, I don't know, like a minus 10 degrees or something. <laughs> you might be right. It certainly is warm, especially for the Arctic Circle. I can even feel a nice cool breeze. Though, of course, regional climates can slightly differ so much that the whole world has been bleached to nothingness. I don't know, if nothing else, the sun seems like it's doing just fine out there. <clears throat> yeah, that sun does seem pretty big. Oh my god, did they like make a sun or something? Oh, what was that? It is larger than usual. Ah, just what I need. An even bigger reminder of Apollo's stupid face. <clears throat> uh, at least there's no way for a star to reach us here, singularity or not. Oh, right, meteors, damn. I'm not sensing any abnormal readings in the sky. Maybe it just looks bigger than usual. It also differs from our records of Scandinavian lost belts, so if nothing else, we can rule out any connection to the King of Giants. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to go up against that guy. So, if this is the North Pole, does it mean that we'll find polar bears here? I don't know, will we? Anyone else getting amusement park vibes? Hmm, it does seem to like one, yeah? I don't see any ferris wheels or roller coasters. Uh, but there is indeed something in the air that just feels fun. Why don't you burst your, out your swim, own swimsuit, master? You've got a mystic code like that, right? Yeah, I do have one. There's quite a large ice castle in the center there. One of the towers it is almost lost in the clouds. Quite a large place, isn't it? It would be easy enough to exhaust ourselves just going from place to place here. Wait, something's coming. Oh god. I'm picking up a magical energy headed your way. Please be careful, senpai. Wait, is that... Someone skiing or something? Hey, there he is! 
Master, over here. Those voices. Aren't they coming from above? Above. Oh! Hey! What is that? It's a boat. A really big boat. On the ice? It looks like it's made for sailing on ice. Oh! Whoa, who's, what a majestic sight! Is that a cruise ship? So this is the source of the magical energy signal. Are you alright, Senpai? Yeah, good thing the boat stopped when I did. Hey, Master! Is that you, Valkyrie? Y yes it's us. Sure is. Please come aboard. We can talk more in the cabin. Right. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Knock knock. Oh, it's like a real home in here. No comment about how fancy everything is, Gary. You must be pretty used to royal living yourself. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, a real home indeed. You do, huh, though, man? Yeah, it is pretty homey. So I'm the only one who feels out of place here. I bet you could travel around the whole world in this thing. <laughs> That's more like it. I knew you'd understand, master. An enormous cruise ship that suddenly appeared atop the ice. That's quite the mystery we are leading off with. Uh, master! Uh, so, sorry, Master, we tried to stop Lady Skadi, but we couldn't. I'm sorry, Master. I hope you will give us a chance to redeem ourselves. The Valkyries? Oh, it's a three old model Valkyries. Old. <laughs> old model Valkyries. So it would seem, yes. Huh? What, what do you mean, old model? That almost sounds as if you're obsolete. I don't think you're old at all. Uh, we, well, just be careful. We Valkyries are very sensitive. Just kidding. We're not ordinary human girls, at least. We shouldn't be. Understood. Now, what's going on with the ship? It's not like... It's not your noble phantasm, is it? No, it's not. Lady Scarlet gave it to us. Oh. She said we can use it to get around the North Pole, Singularity, Arctic Summer World. But you don't need a ship to get around. You can fly. So then... Yes, it must be meant for Master. Oh, okay, I see, that makes sense. <laughs> well, she's being awfully generous. It's weird how nice she's being, right? Indeed. Perhaps she truly means no harm in creating the singularity. She may even think she's doing a good deed. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, they're all looking at him. <laughs> Stare all you like, it will accomplish nothing productive. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was doing that. <laughs> I know what you mean. Something about the way Doma talks just raises all the red flags and leaves you on high alert, yeah? N no, that, that's not what I quite meant. No? Uh, whenever Doma talks, you get chills down your spine too? Huh? You don't? W would you say that's more pure instinct, like a hunch or more of a defensive reaction? Huh. <laughs> You do remind, remember we are all servants under the same master, yes? Yeah, yeah good, good point. At any rate, this is the gift from Skadi, yes? Got it. And that's not all. Check this out. See those stairs at the back of the cabin? Okay. They lead down to a host of personal cabins. You should be able to get a good night's sleep there, master. Yeah, this ship even got a rec room and a nice big shower. So use whatever you like when you have some time, downtime, master. Hmm. I take it this ship doesn't use a typical engine. Amazing, right? This ice top cruise ship runs entirely on primordial rules. Oh, wow. I think its official name is Ice Wanderer. <coughs> Whoa, cool name too. Anyway, this seems like it's all on the up and up, but I'm not going to. But I'm gonna take a look around just to make sure there's no traps. There don't seem to be any, and I can see either, but checking to make sure is a good idea. Right? I'll go with you. Sure. Whatever you do, do. <laughs> let him out of your sight. I'm counting on you, yeah? Yeah, don't worry, I know. By the way, what's the story with these bear origins? Yeah. Y you finally noticed. That's right, we're not lancers anymore. We came here in pursuit of Lady Scarlet. 
but not only were we able to speed stop her, she turned the table on us. Uh, how so? Oh, not in an aggressive way, she didn't attack us or anything. She just changed our spirit origins against our will because we wouldn't do what she told us. And that's why we have these swimsuit spirit origins now. So why swimsuit spirit origins? Maybe she thought we would start listening to her in this way? We didn't though. <laughs> Uh, maybe she was just, she thought it would help you get into the spirit of summer if you dress for the occasion. What is it they say? Fake it till you make it? I don't think that applies to here, but you know, that does sound plausible. But that's not how it worked out. We told her right to her face that none of this would make us change our minds. That's when she, what, that's when she gave me this cruise ship and she was like, alright, go ahead, take this and... <laughs> that's pretty damn generous, I guess. Fine then, see if I ask you to do something for me ever again. No. <laughs> Lady Skadi! But I do still need help. Very well then, I will try asking some other Valkyries. Oh, that's why she summoned the other three. Other Valkyries? And that's how the new Valkyries ended up being summoned. There's Render, who was manufactured at the same time as Third. Okay. Run, who was manufactured the same as time as me, but was one of the last in that batch to wake up. And I, Iris, who was manufactured at the same time as Orlin. And those are the three other Valkyries the Holy Grail summoned. Have you not met them yet, Master? No, not yet. You won't talk about us as though we are outdated now, will you? No, of course not. Th thank you, Master. All that aside, those outfit, new outfits look good on you three. Oh. I, uh, thank you, Master. <laughs> Thanks, Master. We have returned. I found no signs of any traps aboard. Yeah, same here. No secret mechanisms or anything either. It likewise seems to be free of any nasty spells or curses. I suggest to use it gratefully, with a clear conscience. Great, anyone know how to steer this thing? <laughs> not I. I'm a doctor, not a helmsman. I'm technically a saber now, so I do have the riding skill. Uh, but I'm not confident I could safely steer a ship this size, especially when it involves master safety. Good grief, looks like it's all up to me then. Okay, who is this? Oh, is it a Kyle's? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Where did he come from? Worry not, I'll handle the ship. Direct. Wasn't he complaining a few moments ago? And now he's here with a new dress? <laughs> Director? Oh. Hmm. Director Gordon. Huh? Yeah, wait, when did I get even get him? Checking Kaldia base right now. And I'm not seeing the director's signal anyway. Yeah, because he's here. <laughs> that really is Gorolf, our relatively new director. But when did you raise shift here, director? Thanks for helping us out, music man. Oh! Well, where did you come from, Furball? Oh! Did you come here with the director, Fo? Oh, Fo! Oh, that reminds me, I think Lady Skadi might have said something about this. That's right, she mentioned having sent an expert in helming ships. Do you think she meant... Oh... Yeah, I think she did. Me? So you're saying I, I was pulled here by a magecraft? <laughs> so I'm basically being summoned. Is that it? Where did he get these clothes from? Like, even if he was summoned, was he like wearing these dress when he was summoned? Or maybe she put some sort of restriction on you that made it... You so that you accompany Senpai on his race shift on your own free... Uh, well? Fofo! -fo. Well, well, I do of course have experience training a cruiser, I do. But even so, don't you think it is being overly reckless? <laughs> it would seem we have our helmsman. Now then, master, my fellow servants, could I ask you for a moment of your time? Hmm, okay.
Why do you bring us all up to the dead? To set the mood, of course. For I am about to tell you all about this singularity. Huh? While I was looking around the ship earlier, I sent out a Shigigami to survey our surroundings. Or if you prefer modern parlance, I had them run a scan of the whole singularity. The entire singularity? Indeed. So what did you find out? First, let me ask you this. Where would you like to take this ship? I don't know, to, towards Skadi I'm guessing? Yeah, I think we should start by talking to Skadi. Then I can tell you where you'll need to go. Ah, okay, I'm guessing the castle. The Arctic Demonic Ice Castle. That's where you'll find Lady Skadi. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm, I see. That is quite the distance away from our current location. We will need to navigate through a number of different areas and even with this large ship at our command, we won't be able to simply force our way through. That's so. You see, each area operates under unique rules, much like reality marbles. Ah, reality marbles. Those are said to be one of the greatest secrets in all of Magecraft. It takes incredible talent, lots of hard work and a good helping of luck just to get your foot in the door with them. I myself don't have any plans to learn how to create one at the moment. <laughs> But I certainly wouldn't rule out the possibility that I may get around to it someday. Nope. That being said, as a mage, I can't condone someone making such casual use of extraordinary mage craft. Do keep in mind, director, these places may operate in a similar manner to reality marbles. Keeping multiple reality marbles in operation for any period of time would be fiendishly difficult. Yeah, they're obviously it's Skadi and they're using a holy grail, that's why. That being said, <laughs> Divine spirits certainly do not do anything by halves, do they? And in another unfortunate turn of events, this particular one is Goddess, who was given primordial rules by the Allfather himself, yeah. If she's using a holy grail to fill her misdeeds, it will be all but impossible to disable these bounded fields ourselves. No, on second thought, let me rephrase that. Disabling these bounded fields would be somewhat difficult. How's rephrasing that make any difference? It does not. In fact, the fact remains that we will not be able to do so ourselves. Okay, so we need like other divine spirits or something? So instead of trying to force our way through, we should take part in each area's respective attractions. Okay. Look directly at Asylithus. It's true, I confirmed it myself. Hmm. I'm not exactly an expert on scanning spaces, but my quick and dirty diagnosis returns the same results. Each area operates on its own distinct rules. Is the heart of the disease, in singularity, eating away at the Arctic Circle. Do you concur, Marsh? Y yes, that's all accurate. I just scanned your surroundings as well, and my results are the same. Each area is surrounded by a bounded field. Hmm, bounded fields, huh? We don't know the specifics, but we do remember one thing Lady Skadi said. Only those who enjoy summer will be able to make it through this North Pole Paradise. Wow. <laughs> Yep, she definitely said something like that. Only those who enjoy summer. Huh. Could it be some kind of riddle? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it means exactly what it says. I don't know. In my experience, things like this tend to be pretty much as they appear. I concur. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. So what exactly does enjoying summer involve then? I don't know. Go to the attractions and play around, I guess. To determine that, I believe our best course would be to ask the servant in charge of a given area, true? Okay, so your plan for the time being is to cautiously steer the ship towards the ice castle. How does that sound? Roger that. Works for me. No problems here. I like that plan too. <clears throat> Alright, everyone agrees? Special translation, then let's get going. By the way, are we absolutely sure we can trust the one? I don't know. Probably not, but we don't have a choice. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I think I'll end it here. We, we completed the prologue today. Next video, from next video onwards, the main part will begin. Oh. Yeah. Arctic Summer World is pleased to welcome all our visitors from Kaldia. Hmm. Okay. Polar bears live in the North Pole. Penguins live in the South Pole. Okay, good to know. 
This is Arctic Summer World's automatic news service, ready to bring you ongoing timely updates. Okay. Right. I will do this part in the next video. We still haven't unlocked the nodes to start farming, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, next video I'll do. It'll probably be out not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, we have to complete this. Otherwise, I won't be able to start farming. Anyways, there you go, guys. That is the beginning of this year's summer. And uh, Skadi has, you know, done this whole thing. And she has made this amusement park, whatever kind of thing. So yeah, we have to go to different places and finally we will reach the, I guess the middle to confront Skadi about it. Okay, first things first, let me check how, how big is this event. Um, because I need to properly think. There's 20 days and I need to properly calculate when to do what and how to, how fast I should move. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what the hell? Where's the Arctic Summer World? Okay, here it is. Um, main quest, how many are there? We c completed the prologue or the opening. Then there is Act 1, Act 2, Act 2, Act 7, Act 8, Epilogue. Okay, there's 8 acts. And then we have i guess we have a few other quests here and there wait a minute who are the um wait oh no i think i made a mistake oh we are not getting them are we oh are, no wait are we getting them you know the new valkyries i think we are aren't we but we are seeing oh it's a costume change I get, okay, wait a minute. So that means, as far as I can understand, that means we are getting like, you know, like this, the same Valkyries, obviously, but they have like a costume change, I think. Oh my God, where is it? Just a minute. <clears throat> For example, Hild Assassin, stage four, yeah, so the costume can change for them. Okay, so okay, it's that's a costume change. But we are getting new servants. We are we will be like selecting them. But there will be like a change in costume in the final part, I think. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Um you know what? I guess I'll think I'll have to think about it which which um Valkyrie to choose in the end. Uh, but yeah, I think they're all there like, you know, it's just like a, like all their, um, specs, like, you know, their, their power and their skills and everything is the same. The only difference is like the character is different and I guess a little bit of difference, different ascension arts. That's all, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll think about it in the end, which character to choose. We'll see. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. This was the first video on Arctic Summer World. I think that's what it's called. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. And that is it, thanks for watching, I'll be back with another video either tomorrow or the day after, um, yeah, I'll see you guys then, until then goodbye and have a nice day.